Okay, great. Because I refreshed, actually now uh, the ID number two was increased two times. Here is the name. Here is the quantity. And here is the reduce. Here is the total sum. And this is the line cost. Let's hit on reduce. And we can see that there is a mistake here. Because now our uh, card is empty because the action of the reduce was removed and that is a mistake because we don't want to remove our uh, card basically we do want to remove our card we don't want to empty it so let's just think what happened our link is removing uh, our uh, it should actually remove uh, or decrease one quantity from uh, our ID so the ID should be passed here inside our remove and if uh, something exists with this ID it is decreased by one if it is equal to zero then it is destroyed in our case it shouldn't be equal to zero the only problem that I think can exist is that here the ID is not recognized and then it is set to one and somehow it is removed here I'm still not sure why this is happening so I want to go back to our page and take a look at the link which is generated okay take a look at this ID we need to use here an equal sign and then ID will uh, be assigned correctly so let's go back to our link and take a look where is the mistake okay ID is equal we just forgot the equal sign here now we can refresh and try to reduce again somehow we have the same mistake let's take a look okay another problem is that here when connecting few attributes inside the URL we shouldn't use the quotation marks we should use the end mark so that may be the mistake in this case okay now when I'm clicking the reduce you will see the quantity reducing by one great and when the quantity is zero the line is erased as we asked in our condition okay great so we need to go to our item and generate links for our buttons okay and we should also generate a link here that will display our shopping cart then we want to save our order and to allow our visitor to pay by PayPal as you can see in the final result I can add something to my shop, so shopping cart and I can make the, make the payment using PayPal okay great so in the next lesson I will add this arrow as a link maybe even this X and maybe some dollar sign also to our website and we will update this link and this button to be also an adding link to the to our uh, shopping cart okay bye bye for now join me for my next lesson